So as we told you, our demand to be on the Hickson show for 3 Plus U was so intense, we expanded it into a second day. So it's very fitting that as part of that conversation, we find time to talk to Charlotte Mabry with the Charlotte Mabry team, part of Keller Williams Realty. Good to see you this Good morning. Good to see you as well. Good morning. So we are not the only ones seeing a demand uh, in highlighting Hickson, you're seeing that each and every day. Absolutely, every day. One of the hottest areas in town is Hickson right now. So great demand for people looking to buy homes there. So if someone's thinking of selling, wow, it couldn't be a better time, particularly in Hickson. It's a challenge, I think, as a, as a home seller, because you do know that the market's in your favor right now, right? The inventory is low, but there are a lot of people to choose from. So brag a little bit about your agency, because you were telling me that you really put the seller's profit uh, at the top of your list. Absolutely, that's what we're all about. You know, we anybody can sell a home right now. The market is such that it's really easy to be a home seller. The real difference, and I think where experience comes in, is helping our sellers get the most money. Because not all houses appraise in this market, but we sell them for more than they'll appraise for. How do you navigate through that? And that's one of the things I think we do well when it comes to what we do on our team. So we help our sellers get the most money in the least amount of time. Okay, so let's say that someone's watching and they're listening to you right now thinking, I told you, honey, we ought to sell the house. Uh, once upon a time, the thought was make your front door look good. Right. I guess that still is a good rec Absolutely. recommendation. Absolutely, it is. You know, curb appeal is great. To me, the very first thing you need to do is repair anything. So if there's something that's not in good repair, take care of that first then look at curb appeal. And you know, since we've all been working from home here lately, mm -hmm. one of the hot items, the must have item in a house, gee, it's an office, right? A home right. office and really you need at least two of them, especially if your both parents are working and then you've got children in school from home. Right. So those, those home office things are really important. So staging is a buzzword now it in is. the real estate world. If you have a house that doesn't have a separate office space, the idea is to create the look of one. Absolutely. Even if you have to use a bedroom or another part of the house, I would absolutely stage that. We used to say, oh, we stage it for the bedroom. Huh, forget that. I would definitely <laughs> stage for an office right Something now. Something else you share with me that I think is a good thing is people are looking for backyards. Absolutely. You know, as we stay at home, we want a little space. That's what's driving Hickson, as a matter of fact, is people are looking to get out into the suburbs mm -hmm. and have a little more space. So even if you don't have a large backyard, there are some tricks that can enhance your yard, make it feel as big as it can, put up privacy, and really enjoy that outdoor space. Okay, most people, when they sell their home, they're choosing to go to another home, probably in the area. One thing we've heard about Hickson is that the people who live there right. truly live there. So is right. that something you sell maybe a starter home in Hickson? Absolutely. Find a bigger one? All the time, all the, the time. Road. And that's one of the tricks today is when you are looking to buy after selling, oh my goodness, you're on the other end of the stick and having to make offers many times with 10 or 12 other people on the same property. And that's where you really need some good experience to help you navigate those waters as well because when you're competing with other people, how do you win without spending too much? So what is the process like? Because when someone picks up the phone and calls your office, um, how do they end up with one of your team members? What a great question. We look for people that we can pair our clients up with that we know will be maybe a good personality fit. But you know, everyone on our team is so well experienced. We've got people that have been me 34 years, other people on my year, uh, excuse me, on my team over 20 years. We have newer people as well, but they have lots of experience. We've helped our newer agents become experienced agents more quickly. No doubt some agents are watching right now. Yes. And it's a good day to be watching because you are looking to expand. Absolutely. We are always looking for talent. And while many people are looking to get into a career in real estate, and we'd love to have that conversation, I'd love to be able to talk to an agent maybe that's two, three, four years in this business and they're finding they're frustrated. Their business is not growing like it needs to. We have a great plan. We partnered a couple of years ago with this crazy thing called expansion. And while we are part of Keller Williams, we 
we're also part of a network of teams that have all partnered together. And we share with each other systems and tools and models that help our agents grow more quickly and provide even higher level of service for our clients. Because essentially, if you're a, if you're a real estate agent, you're kind of the CEO of your own business in you a way. You should be, absolutely. But if you don't have support behind you, right. I would think it's very easy to right. kind of lose your way. You do, and many newer agents find that uh, it looks good to be this person in a real estate career, but about 80% of the agents never make it past two years. And that's a shame. There's some wonderfully talented people in this industry who just really need some top-notch guidance. Okay, so I know you're not a soothsayer. None of us can completely look ahead to 2021, but do you think that this is gonna continue to be um, a strong real estate market in Absolutely, absolutely. In my 30 years, I've been through things like 9-11, the Gulf War, and we see changes in things. Real estate responds more slowly. So even if things were to just fall apart, the real estate market won't fall apart. We might see, even in the worst of times, that most people think of that being the recession mm -hmm. uh, of 10 or 12 years ago, home prices went down about 10%. So I, again, we didn't see them f go in half or fall apart. 10% is a lot of money, right. but it's not the end of the world. And we sold plenty of homes even then. So I, I feel real estate will do well. I do hope to see the uh, market sort of pull back a hair because that'll make it a little easier for buyers. So you can see how lovely she is to talk to. Her whole team is like this because she's hand selecting them. Uh, and the fact that you try to pair a potential buyer or seller up with an agent whose personality will fit, that's the key to success, Charlotte, right there. Well, we, you know, we, I am so fortunate to work with such awesome team members. Uh, people think my, and my name is on there, but my team members, they're the rock stars. And so when people are fortunate enough to get to work with my team, I get really excited about that. Well, I'm so glad to reconnect with you. It's been a while yes. since I've had a chance to say hello. Yes. You can get in touch with her, the Charlotte Mabry team, part of Keller Williams, her phone number there on your screen as well as the website. She'd love to talk to you whether you are looking to sell your house. If you're looking to buy, still feel free to give her a call. And certainly if you are an agent watching this morning looking to make a switch, she would very much love to hear from you. Thank Sounds you, good. Thank you very much.